Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and today we are going to talk about J Ruby. What is J Ruby? Well, it's not another programming language that's related to Ruby. Okay, J Ruby is an implementation of Ruby made in Java, okay? So to understand this, you need to understand that when you type some Ruby code, what Ruby does, the Ruby interpreter, it takes your code and it has to convert it into instructions, into machine instructions, right? That's basically what's going on. And the regular version of Ruby that you use is called MRI. So like this um, MRI. Right? But this version is JRuby and you can still use your regular you can still use your regular Ruby code and it will be interpreted by this different program. Right? So let me show you how it works. I have installed JRuby through a Ruby version manager. And if I launch IRB, you're going to notice something interesting. So as you can see, IRB took a long time to open. A lot longer, a lot longer than usual. That it would be normal, right? And the reason for that is that JRuby, since it's, it works with Java, Java does something interesting where it will collect information, right? It will collect information about the methods and the classes that you're using. And this collection of information, it, it makes the initial um, a startup slower. At least that's my understanding of why that happens. Now we can check that we are actually using JRuby like with the following constant Ruby engine. Okay, with Ruby engine, we can see that we are clearly on JRuby, and we can also do Ruby version. And another thing that you will notice is that the Ruby version is 2.5.0, but the latest version of Ruby is 2.6.0. So what that means is that we're going to be missing some of the newest features in Ruby and some of the newest methods in Ruby that are on 2.6, but not on 2.5, right? Now, let's look at some of the positives of JRuby. What's, what is it good for? Well, one of the things that you can do is use Java code, Java libraries. For example, we can create a linked list. So in Ruby, we don't have linked lists. You have to create your own. But Java has a linked list built in. So we can do java.util, then linked list. So now, I know we have a list. And this list, we can add one we can add to right and there is the list now one of the nice things that we can do here is that we can actually use the each method so this is more like ruby because this is ruby only that we get to use things from java so we can print the uh, the items inside this list and there we go one and two because I added one and I added two you can even add regular Ruby objects like a string 
So you can do add apple and if I print the items, there it is, right? So JRuby is smart about this and if we do everything very transparently for you, so you can use this data structure just like if you if it were part of regular Ruby. Alright, so I think that's pretty cool. And that might be one of the reasons to use JRuby. Another reason uh, some people use JRuby is because performance. So JRuby is faster than the regular Ruby interpreter, as I'm going to demonstrate right now. So I'm going to run um, this application, which is a factorial benchmark. So factorial is a very simple um, mathematical operation. And we're going to see how JRuby does with this. Okay, so that that's the time that it takes for every iteration of this loop because this loops 10 times. And we can see it's about 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Okay, so now if I switch to Ruby 2.6.0, which is the latest version of the regular Ruby interpreter, in the, which is the official Ruby version, we could say. Now I switch versions and I run the same code. And you will notice that this is lower. So we can see 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So we, we can see that this is taking longer to finish, to process, to do the to do the work, right? So from this, we can see that JRuby is faster. If you really need some extra performance, you can try JRuby. Now, don't use it just because of the extra performance, but it's one thing to consider. Now, if JRuby is faster, why doesn't more people use it? Well, there are a few reasons for it, for that. Um, for example, as you notice right here, we have an older version of the Ruby programming language implemented. That means, as I said before, that we don't get access to the newest features and methods in Ruby. So that's one reason for, for that. Another reason is that uh, a few gems are not supported by JRuby, particularly the gems that use C extensions. They are not supported in JRuby as far as I understand. And JRuby gets around this by providing alternative gems. Right, you can find this in the JRuby wiki. There is some entries for alternative Ruby gems, the MySQL gem, the Postgres gem, which which is PG, the Postgres SQL database PG. But there are alternative versions that work with JRuby. Okay. But not all of the gems that you want to use. Maybe there is an important gem that you need to use and it does it just doesn't work because it uses C extensions and there is no alternative version. So that's another thing with JRuby. And there are just a few other minor things that J that are not supported in JRuby that work slightly different in JRuby. And for that, I will also send you to the wiki. You can go to this link that says differences between MRI, which is the official or regular version of Ruby and JRuby. Okay, as it says right here, there are some minor differences. Like for example, this fork method missing so be aware of those if you want to try out 
Cherube. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please click the like button for me so I know that you like it. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And visit my website, rubyguides.com. rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.